I continue our team coverage tonight. Down trees and wires have been a common sight all day across the state. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Mark Robbins joins us live in Simsbury, where that town has taken a pretty good beating. And Mark, what are you seeing there? Well, we, you know, it has taken a beating. And good afternoon. I'll tell you what, there's so many wooded areas uh, in the communities here in Simsbury and surrounding towns. This is an example of what the wind has done today as really Mother Nature has been pounding these neighborhoods all afternoon. And all that pounding has resulted in lots of trees going down. Big ones, too. This tall pine took out several power lines on Bushy Hill Road in Simsbury. Fortunately, not everyone has lost power. Allie Middleton lives across the street, and she's still got electricity, which allows this off-duty nurse to continue a vital rainy day activity. Sewing. <laughs> oh, really? What are you making? Uh, surgical caps for the nurses. I'm a nurse. Many spots in heavily populated West Hartford suddenly have natural detours. Route 185 out near Bloomfield was blocked earlier this morning. And that's the good news for area homeowners. I started looking at every other tree and then, you know, how close it is to my house. Because, yeah, that thing would have took out my house. Now, you heard Bruce mention we got a few more hours, two or three more hours of some of this heavy rain and uh, the gusty wind. So best to stay indoors and let the emergency crews do their thing to get us uh, back up and, and going as quickly as possible. Reporting live in Simsbury with the Mobile Newsroom, Mark Robbins, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.